This tutorial will show you a few different ways to share your PowerPoint presentation. Let's start with the built-in method. Go to the File menu and click Share. From this menu, you can upload your presentation to a OneDrive account and share the link with other users. Send your file as an email attachment, PDF, or XPS file. Present presentations in real time to viewers at another location, or publish slides to a SharePoint site or online slide library. Let's look at the email option. When you click Send as Attachment, your email client will open up with the PPT file already attached. Another method is to convert your presentation to video format. First, go to the iSpring tab and click Publish. Now select the video option on the left. From the destination dropdown, you can save as a video file to your computer or publish directly to your YouTube account. Just sign in by clicking here. You can also select a preset video profile from this dropdown or configure custom settings here. Enter all the extra YouTube details you like and when you're ready, click publish. If your presentation contains interactive elements that can't be preserved in video format, just use iSpring Cloud Hosting and Sharing Service. Enter your account details here by clicking Change. If you don't have an account, it's super easy to sign up for free here. Now click OK. When you're ready, click Publish. After the process is complete, you will see your presentation in iSpring Cloud. Click the Share button. Enable access to the content with this switch. Now you have several options for sharing this live version of your presentation. You can copy this short link or share via social media with these buttons. From the Email tab, you can enter a list of emails with a custom message. Note that this is different from attaching the PPT file as shown earlier because in this case, recipients will be able to view the whole presentation from any device whether or not they have PowerPoint installed. And from the Embed Code tab, you can copy this code to your website or blog so the live presentation will be a seamless part of the web page. Finally, it's worth mentioning that you don't need an iSpring PowerPoint add-in to publish PPTs to iSpring Cloud. You can just click the Upload button, and the PPTs you upload will be automatically converted to web-ready format. Did you like this video? Give it a like, and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.